Today on Sci Guys, the Leighton Frost Effect. Welcome to Sci Guys. I'm Ryan. And I'm Adam. On today's episode, we're exploring the Leighton Frost Effect. The Light and Frost Effect? No, Leighton Frost. Ah, Light and Frost Effect. Leighton Frost. That's what I said. The Leyden Frost effect is a physical phenomenon in which a liquid, in near contact with a surface much hotter than its boiling point, forms an insulating vapor layer that prevents the liquid from boiling rapidly. The equipment you're going to need for this episode includes a stainless steel or cast iron pot. Don't use a non-stick or Teflon pot because the high temperatures will ruin the pot. You'll also need an oral syringe filled with water. The safety equipment we're going to need for today includes an apron or lab coat, gloves, and goggles to protect from spills and splashes. Also, since we're dealing with high temperatures, our younger viewers require adult supervision. The first step is to take your pot, place it on the stove, and turn it up to high heat. The first test in our experiment is to drip water on the pot while it's still cool. The water should accumulate in the bottom of the pot. After a few minutes, once the pot has reached about 100 degrees Celsius, drip water onto the pot once again, and you'll notice the water quickly boils off into a vapor. For our final test, wait till the pot has reached around 200 degrees Celsius. Then drip water onto it and watch what happens. Instead of boiling off right away, the water will beat up and bounce around the surface of the pot. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. When we first drip water onto the cool pan, the water molecules in the drop land onto the surface of the pan, flatten out, but still remain relatively close together and in a liquid state. This is because the cool pan isn't providing enough energy for the water to spread apart and change state into a gas. Water will change state from a liquid to a gas at around 100 degrees Celsius. So once the pan is warmed up to about 100 degrees Celsius, we repeated the process of dripping water onto the now hot pan. When the water drops come in contact with the pan, lots of energy in the form of heat is transferred from the pan to the water molecules in the droplet. The pan provides enough heat energy that the water molecules spread further apart and quickly change state from a liquid into a gas, and it'll continue to boil until no water remains on the pan. If we wait a little longer, until the pan reaches around 200 degrees Celsius and drip water onto it, something strange happens. When the water comes in contact with the pan, it doesn't boil off right away. Instead, it stays in a droplet shape and bounces around the pan with very little friction, like the puck on an air hockey table. So why didn't the water boil off even faster than before? This is because of an effect known as the Leidenfrost effect. The Leidenfrost effect is a phenomena in which a liquid, in near contact with a surface much hotter than its boiling point, produces an insulating vapor layer that prevents it from boiling quickly. The temperature at which this happens is known as the Leidenfrost point, and it varies with each substance. What this means is, when the water droplet comes in contact with a surface around the temperature of its Leidenfrost point, some of its molecules are instantly turned into a gas, also known as vapor. These vapor molecules become trapped under the water droplet, causing it to hover over the surface of the pan. The water vapor layer prevents the liquid water from coming in direct contact with the pan, and because heat cannot transfer through vapor as quickly as it can by direct contact, the liquid water takes much longer to heat up and boil away. The water droplets will accumulate and bounce around the pan for an extended period of time, and then once they have enough energy, the water will turn into a gas and boil away. This effect can also be seen when small amounts of liquid nitrogen is poured onto a room temperature surface. Well that's it for Light and Frost Effect, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, consider supporting our next video by becoming a patron on Patreon. The link is down below. And subscribe for future episodes. If you have any suggestions for future episodes, make sure to leave us a comment. And remember to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you have any questions related to this episode, or about science in general, let us know in the comments below, or message us on Facebook and we'll try to help you as best possible. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye! Light and Frost Effect. Light and Frost Effect. See? Google agrees with me. Here at Sci Guys, we're always curious how experiments turn out. So if you do these experiments at home, share a video or photo of them with us on our Facebook or Google Plus page. But remember to always ask your parents' permission before you share any photos or videos. 